Computer gamers have cracked a code scientists have been trying to solve for 12 years. The puzzle involving an HIV protein molecule. Molecule, rather, could one day lead to a long sought-after treatment for AIDS. Who says computer games are a waste of time? No, not no, that no, far. No, no, not that far. far. No, back one. This is Fold It, and like any other game, you earn points and progress through levels. But this one is credited with a breakthrough that could lead to a treatment for AIDS. Scientists had been working on a complicated HIV protein model for 12 years. But when it was publicly uploaded, gamers solved the puzzle in just three weeks. People off the, off the street are as smart as scientists. Uh, scientists are, are highly educated in a particular field. That doesn't make them smarter. I'm having some of the... Uh, um, the people that are going to be playing computer games anyway to be doing something that's actually going to be useful for science. I think that's brilliant. Scientists not surprised the code was cracked so quickly. Because you're using a combination, I guess, of uh, human intuition, uh, together with the human brain, which is a marvellous bit of software. The competition between the different people probably helps as well. Barry. Yes! Oh, he got it! How did you do okay. it? It's not rocket science. It's fun, yes, and I think that's the real key. Um, there is a real addictive nature to the game. Um, once you do solve a few structures, you do feel like you want to try and solve the more difficult ones. You don't need to know too much about science to play the game, but what you do need is a lot of patience, and it helps to read the instructions. They're very simple. Um, rather than talking biochemical terms, it, it really breaks it down to using rubber bands as elastic or using bars to hold things apart. At the end of the day, if you solve the puzzle, you know you can get your name on a paper. Jessica Braithwaite, 10 News.